Hi guys, welcome to Draw My Design. I'm Kai Fong. And I'm Keith. Today we will be discussing about the skull cat implants using medical 3D printing or bioprinting. Ooh, sounds cheap. Together, we will be introducing 9 steps which makes up the design process. Let's go! First up, we have problem definition. To put it simply, problem definition identifies the needs of our target audience. In our case, and as mentioned just now, we are intrigued about the designing process of Skullcat implants using 3D printing. Yes, medical 3D printing is already in the market. Moving on, we have the requirements capture. That's step 2 guys. Requirements capture is a research exercise that is undertaken earlier in a project. The aim of this research is to understand the product from a user's perspective, common needs and expectations, as well as identifying the constraints for your solution like time, cost, material and etc. Putting it into our context, the material needed to use is mainly titanium because of its property which will be discussed later on. As mentioned previously, the material needed is mainly titanium. Hmm, why can't I use wood or other materials instead? That's where analysis comes in. Step 3, 3, 3, 3. Detailed examination of the elements or structure of the material must be carefully examined to ensure reliability of material, material properties, design, and many more. As for the skull cap, we decided to obtain feedbacks from the patients, which are the users, and doctors who comes into contact with the product. What comes after 3? Well, that's the next step. Step 4, design. Like what the name means, it is to design the product using a software before design testing. Some design softwares to aid in your design 3D printing are SOLIDWORKS, AutoCAD, and ZBrush. NXCMI. Thanks Kaifeng. Anytime. Obviously, after the designing phase, it is to test its reliability. That will be step 5. Testing. It is to test the properties of the design to gauge which technique gives the best performance. For our case, we can use different softwares like AutoCAD Fusion 360 to test for the mechanical properties such as density, Young's modulus, and U-strength. The goal of the prototype is to prove whether the components that will be in the final system will work together as expected. Oh, you forgot to mention, this is step 6, prototype. The sample product will be printed using a 3D printer that has already been virtually tested. Similarly to testing, you also need to test the prototype to determine whether it hits pew, 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 boom. the criteria given. For our design, we have to test for biocompatibility, how the material reacts with our body, searching for what? Such as in vivo, inside the body, testing, which is to test for material and host response by exposing the material to the biological system, in vitro, outside the body, testing, which is to test for any cytotoxicity that is carried outside of any biological system, and mechanical testing such as tensile strength, coefficient of friction, impact test, etc. Step 8. Design modification. Self-explanatory what? Keep quiet Kaifeng. As I was saying, it is to improve on the prototype to meet test results. It's just like magic. Yes Kaifeng, just like that, with the approval of FDA, we are finally ready to share our product with the world. In summary, there are 9 steps in the design process which are problem definition, requirements capture, analysis, design, testing, prototyping, prototype testing, design modification, and release to production. This is the end of Draw My Design. Thank, Thank you! you.